So Chaya, thanks for joining us to discuss the synchronized skating team uh, for 2013-14. Thank you. <laughs> uh, first, you're a new coach with the program and at Lindenwood, uh, but you bring a lot of experience from uh, from the synchronized skating world. Uh, talk about the transition to collegiate synchronized skating. Well, I've been coaching a long time, but it's been very exciting to transition into being with the um, older skaters. And just the, the knowledge they have of the sport is wonderful to deal with and that they know how to perform a little bit more than maybe some of the younger skaters do. So that's been very different and enlightening. Before I coached at Lindenwood, I have um, taught skating for 22 years. I started teaching in Atlanta, and I've been um, coaching synchronized skating teams since the beginning. And um, I started in St. Peter's in 1996, and I still coach at the St. Peter's Red Flex. And um, took this job in May and have been excited to get it moving forward. And it seemed like I had to wait forever for the girls to get here, <laughs> for school to start. But then once we all got together and got ice time, it just seemed like we took off and were able to get things started nice and quickly. What does it mean for the synchronized skating community Well, there are only three in the country. Um, so being one of only three, there's kind of some pressure on us to perform well and, and really show what we've got. Um, there are other club sports in some of the universities, but the fact that we're all able to be Lindenwood students and skate here at a rink that's run by Lindenwood and um, have our own facilities and all the, the resources that are available to us, <laughs> um, that's been, that, that just is so helpful to us. It seems like it's a really close-knit team. They have a lot of team chemistry, and you've coached some of them before. I have coached some of them before. Um, many of them have grown up skating at the rink that I still coach at, and um, most of them within the area. We do have one skater that is from Minnesota that joined us this year. So we're glad to have her. She's a freshman, and we hope she stays with us for a long time. Does it help when the team knows each other like that? I think it does, but they get to know each other super quickly, too. I mean, it's a, it's a very intense program that we do, so they're one-on-one -on -one with each other a lot, and they get to know each other fast and bond quickly on the ice. And what are your expectations? Well, primarily it's to get our name out there a little bit more. We've been working hard to put together different brochures and just get the exposure and get people to know who we are and get people to notice us. So obviously the first way we do that is from their skating and going out and skating great, which they did at our first event last weekend. And maybe you can talk about that a little more. Uh, you guys did a lot of success on your first uh, road trip. We did. We competed twice. We competed in one ISI event, which is a more recreational competition, and then we competed in the U.S. figure skating event as well. And primarily that event was to get a um, critique from the judges, and that was the most important part of that, and it was an awesome critique. They loved us, they um, thought that our program was wonderful, and wanted to know more about our program, and get to know more about our team and it being a fully funded program here at the university.